Hey! Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry. Mowers and blowers. This is part two of my Sportlawn 25 Toro power handle project that I didn't want to do, but because my friend Scott Keller paid me to do it, <laughs> I guess I have to do it. Uh, as you guys saw from the first episode, which was a long one, it actually took me two days to do because I got a late start that first day and it went on and on until it started getting dark and I had to continue the next day. But uh, much to my surprise, we did get this running. It actually started on the first pull, you know what I mean? So it runs okay now, you know? My problem right now is the pet cock on the gas tank leaks no matter what I do. I've tried loosening the, uh, you know, the, the stem and stuff and the nut and redo it again, it still leaks. So I had a uh, half a tank of gas in here that I poured in there for testing. I had it in the garage that first night. And when I was sleeping that night, I was like, oh man, I could smell the gas, you know. It, it, the smell seeped into the, through the fireplace thingamajig, into my living room, up to the bedroom. I could smell the gas. So I had to come out like at 3 in the morning, drag this thing out of here, out of the garage, and put it outside. And there's a big puddle of gas sitting there. I mean, uh... There's like a millimeter of gas in there right now, but not high enough to get to the pet cock to come down. So stop leaking. So uh, I don't think it leaks so much around the carburetor. It might leak a little bit, you know, but that's expected because these updraft one uh, two piece flow jets, they're known for it's leaking, you know, and uh, also it leaks out of the uh, thing. I, I almost want to try to make some rubber fuel hose to come out of the petcock straight to the carburetor and just bypass that metal pipe that they have you know but uh before i do that i i need to go to the backyard and take this power handle off of this snowhound 2020 because i could use the parts from this to fix that one uh actually i can't because this one looks like it doesn't have a gas tank <laughs> but i do need the cable for the uh, clutch engagement. Also, I need to find a belt that'll fit around the pulley to get it to drive. And I don't think I have a belt. That's gonna be an issue, I think. So as you know, power handles are very easy to remove. It's just this wing nut bolt, right? That's it, you loosen this. And you can just pull this handle up, and there it is. There's the power handle, see? Now this doesn't have the pulley on the crankshaft for the clutch, but it does have the cable for the clutch. And I wish it had a gas tank on it because I could take the petcock out of it. Not that that would probably leak too. But either way, I do need the cable, so I might as well bring this whole thing over there. I think I also need this top part here. The one I'm working on doesn't have this. As you can see, I have my snow blowers here. I put plastic bags all over the uh, all of the engines so that uh, if it rains, things don't get jacked up. Just went to my shed, picked up about uh, six short belts that I have. Hopefully, one of these will fit. A couple of days ago we had flurries. It's been so cold that it still hasn't melted yet. That's been the extent of the snow that we've been getting this year. Dying to get some snow, man. So I'm gonna pull this into the garage. It's cold today. Got this other uh, power handle going on. And let's see if we can fix that fuel leak first. And then we'll try the belts. Just for the heck of it. I know there's no gas in it. Let's see if it starts. Why 
tire is touching ground. it starts a little, you know? Ugh. So I removed the fuel shutoff uh, off the petcock and over here if you look at the uh, the rubber gasket if you look at here it's kind of bent down right there. See? The metal part right there bent down. So that, that's probably what's causing the leak. Plus this O-ring is kind of warped, you know? So I'm going to try to use some side cutters and straighten that out a bit. Then I got this kit that I got. I, I forget who I got it from. But it has all kinds of different uh, O-rings in here. Looks like this will work right over here. Anyway, I'll, I'll try to bend this uh, back together again and see what happens. That's a little bit of it right there. Got a new O-ring on here, so hopefully that'll uh, prevent it from uh, leaking. So all these are too long. These are half inch ones. I think you're supposed to have 3 8 I think this is a 5 8 but this is the only one short enough and stiff enough that'll go over here. I think that uh, if it's running, it probably won't spin because it's pretty wide. There's a lot of slack here, right? And then when I do make the throttle work, it might turn it, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna keep this on here. In the meantime, I need a throttle cable to engage the clutch. And I'm gonna take it off of that one.
So with the new washer, it still leaks a little, right? But it's very slow, okay? Acceptable. This was leaking a little bit before, but now it seems like it stopped. I guess when things start moving and stuff, it starts, starts rolling. It may seal some stuff, you know, makes the gaskets kind of puff out and whatever's in there, you know, it seems to have stopped. See? Uh, put the belt on here. It's a little hinky. Got the clutch engagement cable wired through here. Got it stopped right there with this thing. I had to take this thing off of that one because it, this one didn't have it. it. I flipped it back right uh, backwards because this thing would go over it and it wouldn't give it enough tension. That gives it just enough, right? It's wired underneath here, through here, onto here. Put this cover on. I didn't have this cover before. Now I have this cover. I tried starting it for a while. It wouldn't start. Uh, I had to mess with the fuel mixture screws again. And check this out. There we go. Now you guys can see. about that huh fellas can you believe that <laughs> found that uh, belt works just fine starts up in one pull engages the belts uh, in the beginning I was kind of holding it back because I didn't know how fast it would go and the wheels were just continuously spinning so I kind of did a couple of burnouts on my yard there but how about it huh the self propulsion really works well could you believe I ever, I could get this starting thing started like that and working like this? Uh, I'm just like stunned, you know. Uh, it took some doing, but uh, got her done, you know. This is my Sportlawn 25, real mower. Like I said, I'm not going to back lap the blades because uh, I don't want it. So I'm going to let the uh, new owner, if I ever get sell, get to sell this. He can mess with it. Um, but first, this goes to Scott Keller. Who knows how long he's going to take to get, get here to pick it up. That is, even if he wants it, you know what I mean? But uh, that's great. I'm stoked. I didn't think I would get this thing going either. You know, I, I'm surprising myself every video, you know? Definitely something new for mowers and blowers. 
working on super old stuff. Uh, it's interesting, but it's not something I want to deal with on a regular basis because it's tough to sell, you know? Uh, in my next episode, I'm going to take this <laughs> power handle with working engine on now, right? And I'm going to put it on one of those Snowhound 20s. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Thanks a lot for joining me on today's episode. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey Henry, it's Andy from the UK, aka Mower Wizard. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.